love me. Well, Mr. Johnny, just gonna have to get over it. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Jessica Chastain performances. You promised you would not fall in love with anyone else. Oh, yes, but it happened. For this list, we're looking at this actress's phenomenal rise across film and television, becoming one of her generation's definitive talents. What's your favorite Jessica Chastain performance? Let us know in the comments. Number 10, Samantha LaForche, Take Shelter. If you didn't know who Jessica Chastain was before 2011, you definitely knew her name by the year's end. Said if he didn't do anything, why did you have to put him outside? I just wanted him to be outside for a while. This was a breakthrough year for Chastain, starring in six films. She kicked off the year with Take Shelter, a psychological thriller that eerily holds up even better over a decade later. You ever see birds fly like that? What? As Michael Shannon's Curtis fears a storm might be coming, Chastain's Samantha fears that the storm has already arrived in the form of her unstable husband. I want you to see a psychiatrist. Not a counselor from the free clinic, someone good. As Samantha, Chastain naturally traverses between showing genuine concern for her husband's well-being and growing increasingly afraid of what he's becoming. What's going on? I've been having these dreams. Samantha serves as a voice of reason, desperately trying to keep her family together, powering through the storm with a balance of bravery and compassion. I love you, but if I open the door, then nothing's gonna change. You'll see that everything's fine, but nothing will change. Number nine, Murphy Murph Cooper, Interstellar. Murph is portrayed by three generations of gifted actresses. It's not Morse, Murph, it's binary. Mackenzie Foy plays Murph as a child, while Ellen Burstyn appears as her elderly self. As an adult Murph, Chastain tackles the most complex chapter in the character's life. If there's an answer here on Earth, it's back there, somehow in that room. So I have to find it. It is an emotional gut punch for Joseph Cooper and the audience when grown-up Murph first shows up via video message. Hey, Dad. As Joseph cries over the years lost with his daughter, we can see the toll that her father's absence has taken upon Murph. You once told me that when you came back, we might be the same age. And today I'm the age you were when you left. Overcome with abandonment, Murph has grown cold and distant, throwing herself into work. As angry as Murph is, she's unable to let go. In a film heavy on science, Chastain brings heart to the equation as somebody searching for answers and closure. Number 8. Mrs. O'Brien, The Tree of Life In another 2011 release, Chastain brings warmth to a film that challenges its audience around every turn. Nature only wants to please itself. Get others to please it too. This exploration of life, faith, and creation isn't easy to comprehend. One thing we can all identify with, though, is the love that Chastain's character has for her children. Nurturing and playful, Mrs. O'Brien is the personification of grace. Her husband, played by Brad Pitt, represents nature, lashing out against their sons in unpredictable fits of violence. Come here! Get back. Come here! Although Mrs. O'Brien serves as the one consistent bright spot, Jack comes to resent his mother for staying with such a cruel man. Of course, forgiveness can be a facet of grace, for better or worse. Chastain's elegant performance earned several awards from critics, but the best had yet to come. Number 7. Mira Phillips – Scenes from a Marriage this HBO miniseries opens and closes with the cast and crew interacting behind the scenes. Let's get Slade in. Here we go. Action! Other than these fourth wall breaks, it's easy for the audience to forget they're watching a show. This open relationship comes at a price for everybody. Of course it does. And 
It can't be easy for your kids, right? The performances from Chastain and Oscar Isaac are all too natural, making us feel as if we're peeking into a real couple's marriage, divorce, and possible reconciliation. You want to keep it, right? I think so, yeah. I think so. I think we can handle it, but only if it's something that you really, really want and would be happy about. Based on the Ingmar Bergman miniseries of the same name, this version switches the roles around, with Isaac's Jonathan being the more active parent and Chastain's Mira being the one who instantly the marriage's end. This not only creates a more modern portrait of married life, but also a more complex role for Chastain to embody as she manages heartbreak, unfulfillment, and the many complicated sides of love. Number 6. Celia Ray Foote – The Help Chastain gave multiple Oscar-worthy performances in 2011. The Academy gravitated towards her lovable supporting work in The Help, resulting in her first nomination. I'm not right for this kind of life, many. I don't need a dining room table for 12 people. The Oscar ultimately went to Chastain's co-star Octavia Spencer for her performance as Minnie. I'm Celia Ray Foot. I'm Minnie Jackson. The scenes between Celia and Minnie are some of the film's best as a professional relationship turns into a friendship that saves both of their lives. So you'll do it? Although Celia is introduced as a comedic relief character with a bubbly personality, she's slowly revealed as a tragic figure who's endured isolation and unspeakable loss. We got married because I was pregnant. Then I lost it a month later. Chastain couldn't be more empathetic as a character with nothing but love to give, often receiving rejection in return. I just want you to know I'm real grateful you're here. You guys plenty more to be grateful for than me. Celia and Minnie not only find acceptance in one another, but also inner strength and self-love. Number 5. Madeline Elizabeth Sloan, Miss Sloan As sharply written and directed as this underrated political thriller is, its success largely rests on the shoulders of Chastain's commanding performance as the titular character. Jane, we go to schools, we're Paris for the real world. I'm not sure I like the real world. So you want to bury your head in a Socrates? You know that Socrates never actually wrote anything? That's beside the point. If you don't like it, you change it. That's why you're here. Elizabeth Sloan immediately establishes herself as a fiery lobbyist who will stop at nothing to guarantee that a gun control bill goes through. The gun lobby's rhetoric is based on the falsehood that we want to take something away from people. We don't. We want to make it more difficult for dangerous people to buy firearms. While Sloan is a well-defined protagonist, she's also something of an enigma to the audience. Chastain keeps us guessing how far Sloan is willing to go, making personal sacrifices and putting others in compromising positions. Has your client ever donated to this nonprofit? I wouldn't know that. I am not privy to their list of donors, nor had I any role in arranging funding for this. No role. Whether she has a carefully crafted strategy or is acting spontaneously, there's almost always an ace up her sleeve. Although Sloan never got her driver's license, Chastain drives the picture with a resilient presence, never taking her foot off the gas. The more dangerous the machinery, the more rigorous the test should be. I think we can extend our definition of dangerous machinery to semi-automatic firearms. Except the Second Amendment to the Constitution doesn't guarantee the right to drive cars. Number four, Tammy Faye Baker, The Eyes of Tammy Faye. Chastain won an overdue Best Actress Oscar for her performance as Tammy Faye Baker. While there are three other performances we'd rank slightly higher, Chastain probably took the most risks with this transformative portrayal. Steve is a patient of AIDS, and he so generously allowed us to talk to him today. When a performer is hidden under prosthetics, makeup, and wigs, they can sometimes go too over the top. Chastain embraces Tammy's eccentric nature, but she never chews the scenery. Does she, Susie? Well, she do, Jim. She really, really do! <laughs> she masterfully pulls off a tricky balancing act, exploring Tammy's flaws while unearthing her humanity. You can't leave me at home, all alone, feeling unloved and useless. And he said that I belong on TV just as much as you do. In what easily could have been a caricature of a controversial figure, Chastain leaves us with a better understanding of who Tammy Faye was. Behind the makeup and scandals, she was an outspoken activist who showed compassion when few others would. My father held my hand. 
and told me that I was his son no matter what. Ah, thank God. You know, thank God for a mom and dad who will stand with a young person. In a way, Chastain's sympathetic performance returns the favor. Nailed it. Really? This is sublime, this is top drawer. Number three, Molly Bloom. Molly's Game. Do you know about me? Another real-life figure, Molly Bloom once appeared bound for Olympic glory. After that dream was shattered, Bloom channeled all of her ambition into carving a new path. If they say they're interested in poker, you give them my number, I bet them. If they end up playing in a game, I'll give you $1,000 the first time they play. She rose to infamy through her high-stakes poker games, landing on the FBI's radar in the process. It appears to me throughout your career as a game runner, you were extremely diligent about vetting players. I was. But you let four guys play in the game without knowing they were connected? Yeah, plus an FBI informant, it's embarrassing. Chastain portrays Bloom with the drive of a champion who demands a seat at the table. When she's denied access, she creates a table of her own and sits herself at the head. The suite was 5,200 a night. I spent 17000 on a shuffle master that was installed in the table. Faster, more reliable shuffle. Being an Aaron Sorkin film, Bloom monologues a mile a minute, but Chastain still manages to maintain a poker face throughout. You fold your whole cards. Five of clubs, jack of hearts. He's still in the game. It would benefit him to know that the five of clubs, You think jack I'm of signaling hearts, him? I'm saying it can't happen again. While we see glimpses of her vulnerable side, Bloom's snappy comebacks and cool composure shield her from the collapsing house of cards she's built. Number 2. Anna Morales, A Most Violent Year Several years before scenes from a marriage, Chastain and Oscar Isaac starred as a very different couple. I've given you everything you could possibly ask for, and you, you still can't help me? acting like this little Brooklyn corner store gangster's you, daughter that you I, are. I, I the television, huh? Unlike Mira Phillips, Anna Morales knows exactly what she wants out of life. Money, power, and a husband who's willing to get his hands dirty to protect their family. It wasn't some kid looking to take our TV. It was a goon with a loaded gun looking in our window. I'll take care of it. And if he won't, she will. Whereas Isaac Sabel would rather find a peaceful alternative to their woes, Anna's mind immediately leaps to more extreme actions. While she can be reckless, this mob princess is no fool. Been skimming money from the company. Anna? How long? From the beginning. She's grown up surrounded by crime, coming to understand this world better than anyone else in her inner circle. You're at war here. No, we're not. Really? Because they are. Well, I'm not. Anna is every bit as cunning and ruthless as Lady Macbeth, although she has a bit more heart and a lot more style. It wasn't your good luck helping you out all these years. It was me. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Maggie Beaufort, Lawless. In this supporting role, Chastain lights up every scene she's in. I gotta find you lying in a pool of your own blood. Drag your damn body to my car. Melissa Lewis, The Martian. Joining a long list of people who have saved Matt Damon. Vogel? Uh, go ahead, Commander. I need you to come inside and make a bomb. Annabelle, Mama. Her foray into Scream Queen territory. <laughs> Beverly Marsh, It Chapter 2. Fans dreamcasted her and Chastain delivered. But tell me, how is it being back in Derry? It's good. Strange. Strange? Antonina Zabinska, the zookeeper's wife, Chastain's biggest tearjerker. You look in their eyes, and you know exactly what's in their heart. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Maya Harris, Zero Dark Thirty. Zero Dark Thirty took several liberties. This extends to Chastain's Maya, who is fictional despite having some real-world parallels. I mean, does Bin Laden invite him into the living room and hand him a letter directly, or is Abu just the last guy in a long line of careers, and that's why everybody knows it? That's not all you don't know. 
You don't have his real name, you don't have a clue of where he is. Although not always historically accurate, it's still a thoroughly compelling thriller about a woman who dedicates almost a decade of her life to one thing and one thing only, hunting down one of the most dangerous individuals who ever lived. You're not being fulsome in your replies. You cannot force me to tell you something I don't know. You do realize this is not a normal prison. You determine how you're treated. The film is a character study above all else, with Chastain's fierce performance at the forefront. You just want me to nail some low-level mullah crackadola so you can check that box on your resume that says, while you were in Pakistan, you got a real terrorist. But the truth is, you don't understand Pakistan. The hunt turns into an obsession for Maya, and when the film builds to its inevitable conclusion, 14 minutes to intercept. She's left with two sentiments, relief that it's all over, and uncertainty of what to do with her life now. You got the whole plan to yourself. Where do you want to go? The finale alone may be Chastain's greatest acting feat, securing her second Oscar nomination. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.